Welcome all of you Ed Talk subscribers. My name is John Hines. I'm a retired principal here in San Antonio, and I've got four tips to help you reduce your stress, especially during these times. As a leader, the, the way I reduced my stress was to plan as much as I possibly could so that I was in more of a proactive mode rather than a reactive mode. And I had some kind of control over my world. Um, I did not enjoy, I still do not enjoy reactive mode. I like proactive. So my number one tip is to create a Sunday night routine. In that Sunday night routine, you take something like your planner, your monthly planner, which I'm still paper pencil. I never could do electronic. So I would take out my week and then I would plan it out of what are my commitments in a weekly view. And now my commitments are the things that I've already got scheduled. I want to be there on time a little bit early so that I can prepare for that moment. But those are commitments. When you plan, you can start putting in the things that you want to do in addition to your commitments, like get in classrooms, like go talk to the clergy in your community, like build community partners and business partners, like uh, walking around and speaking to your cafeteria and your custodial staff and the people you typically don't get to uh, interact with because you're dealing with your commitments, which are usually issues that need to be fixed. Now, what this did for me is it helped me calm down, understand my whole week, let me plan in those things that, that I wanted to do that actually gives me energy, and then I know what my commitments are and what I can adjust and what I need to delegate. Sounds easy, but until you put it into a routine, it might be a little bit uncomfortable. But again, planning helps me lower my stress and have some type of control. And if you're a leader right now in our world, your stress is probably pretty high and you probably have little control over a lot of things. So this would help you manage some of that. The next tip I have for you is in your vehicle, I want you to think about a picture or an object that you can put in your vehicle to help you transition from your role as a leader to your role at whatever it is when you get home. Now, typically, as a leader, your responsibility is to handle the tough situations, deal with problems, manage a lot of things. And some days, not all, but some days, they're really difficult days. And when you get to the end of your schedule, you're exhausted, you've been beat up, you've probably been yelled out at least once. You probably don't have all of your, all of the solutions you want to your problems. And so you take all of that home with you. And when you walk in the door, whoever's waiting for you, whether it be your dog, your garden, your wife, your husband, your children, your God, they get that. And so if you have an object or a picture in your vehicle, it will help you mentally transition into your new role. Now, if you have young kids, get one of their toys and put it in your car. And then as you drive home, just think about the type of parent your child deserves to walk in the door. If you're a husband, get something with your wife's perfume on it. If you're a wife, your husband's cologne, and put that in your car. It's a picture of your garden. It's a picture of your family. Maybe it's a cross. Whatever it is, but it helps you transition from your role, which is only part of your life, to your role when you get home. You know, we have, as leaders, we have a very difficult time in this because the organization is always saying we need more, work harder, blah, blah, blah. And there's very, very few people over here saying, hey, bring something home 
Don't, don't leave it all at the office or at the school or wherever you work. So this is going to help you bring your best to whoever's waiting for you. And if you've had a great day, that's going to be easy. If you've had a difficult day, this object, this picture will help you transition and bring whatever you have. Bring your best to whoever's waiting for you at home. So that's number two. Number one is plan Sunday nights. Number two is having a picture or an object in your vehicle. The next one, next topic I have for you. If you have not read The Way of the Seal by Mike, Mark Devine, I highly recommend it. I'm retired and I still have flags all over the place. He helps get a very structured, a very good structure to your life. Now, personally, I created this because I like templates. And in this book, it talks about having a habit of the week or the day. This week, I'm working on positivity because I've got a rough week and I'm just trying to stay positive. So every time I see this, positivity. The one thing that you're, the one thing you want to keep focused on, and mine is don't give up this week. Challenging week, don't give up. And then my priority task, projects I'm going to work on, contacts I need to make, and just notes, ideas, inspiration. And as I go through the week, I mark them off. And what that does is it helps me keep the priorities the priorities. I don't have a bunch of cards and sticky notes and everything. I have it right here. So if I'm going to a meeting off campus, I grab this and I roll and I have everything right here. If I'm meeting with someone in my office, brings up an idea, I write it right here. So it's all in one spot. So I highly, highly recommend the way of the seal, especially if you're not as organized as you, as you would prefer to be, that book will help you get organized. Last thing, it's called the game plan. Usually, usually, not this year, but usually, uh, during the month of Thanksgiving or uh, November and December, we get off, we get home for a week or two, and we watch football, or at least that's what I do. And one year, a few years back, I was watching a lot of football, and I kept noticing that the coaches on the sidelines had a game plan, and they had plays listed, highlighted, all of those things, two-minute drills, that type of stuff. Well, what I thought is what if I took my uh, the game plan concept, which is the main focus for that time period, and put it on one of these. So what I did is I made a professional side and a personal side, and, this is, and I laminated it, and this is my game plan. And so when I would walk around the school, which being a principal, you walk around school, I would grab this and I would roll. And so I, I would constantly be looking at it. It's great conversations with the kids too, because I'll say, what's on the, hey, what are you carrying? And you say, well, this is, these are things to remind me of what's important in my world. And this is my professional world, and this is my personal world. And on this, it would be things like be in the classroom, my standout results, my uh, strength finder results, write notes to people because I'm not that good at writing notes. I, I like, you know, giving hugs or a handshake or whatever, but as a leader, people really cherish notes that you've taken the time to write. So I'll put that on there. How are you celebrating the accomplishments of your school? Don't know about you, but I'm a point A to point B person. And I, I forget to celebrate. So I, I put it on here. My welcome letter to the staff, be relentless. Remember timelines. Those are just things that I just want to keep in front of me. And on my personal side, I want to I dream big. Here's my personal mission statement. Phrases that that mean a lot to me, like everything you want is on the other side of fear. Uh, plan 20, day, 20 minutes per day, work out three times a week. Plan, dream, reflect, celebrate, be still. I'm a very visual person, 
So on mine, I've got these pictures on here where I love Vegas, I love Obama, and it says, go ahead and underestimate me. So these are just my reminders, and I'll write on this, and then I'll edit it throughout a time period, and then I'll redo it, because that's what I do. So I constantly am re-evaluating things. So those are my four tips. Sunday night routine, get an object or picture for your vehicle. Look at the way of the seal, possibly making a focus plan, and then create a game plan. Front and back, easy as can be. Now, what, what these do for me is it helps me get real clear. I take the time to get real clear about what I want in life. Then I start to plan about plan out what I want and how I want to get it. And then I start thinking about those little habits. What habits can I uh, put into place that will create a system that will be part of my routine? Then it'll be just the way, just who I am. I plan. That's who I am. But a few years ago, that wasn't even in my uh, mindset. I reacted a lot. So those are my four things. I hope they help. Uh, hope everybody has a great year and find me if you need me.